What if I told you that there was a way to type into a program exactly what mood, what length, and what genre you want a certain sound or type of music to come from, and it would spit out the perfect length, the exact mood, so that you can then increase your audience retention, you could hack into viewer psychology, and ultimately, you can make people watch your YouTube videos longer, and on top of that, you won't get a copyright strike for using this type of music. Would that sound interesting to you? Because if you want to monetize your YouTube shorts right now, you need to make sure that you are not getting copyright strikes, because on February 1st, YouTube is finally monetized monetizing YouTube shorts, and this is gonna make so many creators so much money, but if you're struggling with coming up with music right now that isn't getting you a copyright strike, well then you have a big dilemma on your hands. But this video is going to solve that problem for you. In fact, I'm going to show you the exact program that I've been using in my content, and you know you could trust it if I'm using it, because trust me, I wouldn't wanna mess up my YouTube monetization, and I wouldn't want you to mess up yours either, which is exactly why you need more copyright free music that is going to be perfect. But before I can share it with you, I need you to smash that subscribe button. If you wanna grow quicker on YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok, I literally upload a video about how to grow on these platforms every single day. In addition to that, I created a free YouTube growth course so you can get the link in the pinned comment below. It's gonna share with you things like the best time to post on YouTube right now and the best hashtags to be using if you wanna go viral. Now the reason that you need to make sure that you're actually choosing the right sounds on YouTube Shorts is for a few reasons. One, it's going to increase your audience retention. And if you're not getting views right now, it's because your audience retention is off. Secondly, it's going to allow you to invoke an emotion. If you want to sell somebody something, or more importantly, you want somebody to listen to you, you need to be invoking emotions because the emotion is what somebody's going to remember. For example, you're watching this video right now, the emotion that I am setting for you is going to be the thing that you actually remember, and it's going to be the reason that you take action on this video, and you need to make sure that you're doing the same exact thing in your content because if you're not you're not hopping into the psychology of somebody actually viewing a post on social media and that's why your views are down or you're not making the money that you want from YouTube. So the program that you need to start using is soundraw.io. I'm gonna put the link right here. You guys need to make sure that you're using this and no, this is not a paid sponsorship. I have absolutely nothing to do with them. I've simply been using this in my own content and it's allowed me to get the best music, the best sounds, copyright free, the perfect length. This is literally gonna decrease the amount of time that you spend editing. It's gonna make the mood in your content better. It's gonna increase the retention. Best of all, it is not gonna stop you from getting monetized on YouTube. Now you need to understand something. If you wanna get monetized on YouTube, you probably need to know how the YouTube algorithm works if you want to get more views and more subscribers, which is exactly why I created this video. So if you want to get more views, more subscribers, and know how the algorithm works, please make sure you go watch it. I'll see you over there.